Hello guys, uh, welcome to today's uh, AWS webinar. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay, so today's agenda. So today we'll mainly discuss about the OTT. Uh, what is OTT and how it works? Um, how actually a VOD platform works in uh, in AWS and as well as the live streaming. So mainly today we will focus on the VOD part as uh, mostly. Uh, we'll do some uh, coding part as well in AWS and how actually we can uh, we can build a OTT platform based on AWS. So there is mainly two part uh, VOD and live streaming. So uh, we'll focus today in VOD uh, mostly. So. First OTT, so we all know, right? So there is some popular OTT uh, 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 platform like uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and other other some um, Indian OTT like G5, uh, Bioscope, Trophy, Hoi Choi, Bongo, what not actually. So lo lots of popular uh, OTT platform available in our country as well as in the worldwide. So and OTT is getting uh, popular day by day uh, so we we need to know actually how it's working technically and how we can build that into our aws so how what is actually ott so ott is uh, the meaning of the ott is over the top basically it means like uh, it works uh, without any type of cable satellite and anything else so it's work with the internet so it's a media service basically uh, it's play the video content uh, it is uh, delivered the video content over the internet and there are few types of ott like uh, vod uh, what is video on demand uh, another thing is live streaming and there are some other sub uh, uh, features as well like the messaging voice calling so we are only we know most of the times say like uh, vod and the live streaming right and most of the time we, we see some movies and we see some uh, web series into the, as like a video uh, VOD, video on demand. So how it works actually in technically. So we all know uh, how actually Netflix works. Uh, I, generally, I have to take the subscription and there are some lots of videos. I can uh, watch any video. That's it. But how actually it works uh, behind the scene. So this is actually a high level diagram like how actually the video like or pod works uh, normally the ott works in a way uh, like it have some video content uh, we have to exit some video content and process the video uh, to make it like uh, distributable store the process video in somewhere like in some storage and distribute uh, the video uh, stored video into the devices uh, it's, it can be like a different di distribution service. It can be CDN or whatever. And based on the uh, distribution, player can play the video uh, into our devices. So how actually it works in AWS, how we can build uh, uh, the uh, OTT or the VOD platform in AWS. So mostly uh, we need some services called uh, AWS Media Element, a uh, Media Convert, uh, Elemental Media Convert, S3, Lambda, and CloudFront. So obviously, it, this is actually a uh, serverless way. So we will focus today in 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 a serverless way. That uh, in that way we can uh, we don't have to worry about the uh, scaling and uh, other things as well. So we, we will use the serverless uh, for to build the BOD uh, in today's session. So how actually the media elements or the uh, VOD works in, in uh, AWS. So it has some source source content. Uh, uh, for example, if I uh, think about the Netflix, so Netflix, some uh, filmmaker or someone maybe upload need to upload their videos, uh, their contents into somewhere in their platform. Uh, it will transport the video uh, in a way like uh, it will convert the video into different formats, uh, different resolution to support in a different um, different devices and the resolutions. So media convert do that this convert process actually. So for example, we have a source file in MP4 file, which can be uh, live um, uh, four or five GB. We can uh, uh, split the video in a small chunk file. Uh, 
uh, which is actually playable in and transferable into the um, uh, devices. So for that, actually, we need a service called uh, AWS Media Convert. So in that way, we can uh, uh, convert the video into different formats like uh, Apple HS, HLS format, Dash format, uh, MP Easy format, and other things as well. And those converted video are stored into a S3 bucket in AWS. So we, we can store the processed video into a bucket, and then we can uh, distribute the uh, uh, contents with the AWS uh, Amazon CloudFront, which is the CDN service. So this is actually very simple. Like we'll upload some video into a S3 bucket. Uh, it will be converted and it will be stored in a different bucket and we will uh, uh, deliver the contents over the internet via the CloudFront. So how actually the live streaming uh, works in AWS? So in live streaming is actually a bit different as like uh, the POD. So we, we need to uh, include some other services as well, like the Elemental Media Live and Media Package. So uh, like we have some source uh, channel uh, where from we are getting the video content and we have to transport the video uh, with Elemental Media Live uh, in a different like a bit rates and a different uh, profile. Uh, we can transport the video with AWS Media Live and we have to use the media package as well to packaging the video uh, for the uh, deliverable as a deliverable content. Uh, we can convert the video as well uh, in a different format, uh, output format like HLS dash. So those are the most popular uh, uh, forms to provide the video uh, to the end user device. And in the same way, we can uh, 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 for the CDN purpose, we can use the CloudFront as a content delivery network. And based on the CloudFront network, uh, we can um, distribute the video into the OTT devices like mobile and apps, other things as well. So this is actually a high level diagram of how actually live streaming works. So there is a, a bit different how actually VOD works and how the live streaming works. As you know, like live streaming uh, service is like uh, 24 by 7 and it, it is continuous process. But in video, there is a specific, there are some specific files uh, where we need to upload the video and we need to play it. So today we'll mainly focus about the POD platform. So how to build the POD in uh, uh, in AWS in a serverless way. So as we have said, like uh, uh, we, we, we have some source bucket in S3. So this is actually a technical process, uh, diagram, like how we can configure the services, AWS services, uh, together to make uh, to serve our purpose. So there will be like a source bucket, S3 bucket, uh, where actually we'll upload the video from some uh, front end technology or some uh, from application, mobile application, web platform, or whatever. So we have to upload the video into a, a source packet, which is the S3 packet. And after that, we need to convert that video. So to convert that video, we have to trigger some Lambda functions here uh, to create the sub, uh, job actually. So media convert actually works uh, based on the job. Uh, so we need to know uh, the source and the destination format, uh, destination and output format. So for that, actually, we will create some job uh, by a Lambda function. So Lambda function actually creates some uh, job for the um, elemental media convert. And if media convert actually maintains some queue, so in, in, in that case, like if our video has been converted successfully, we can see the log in our Amazon CloudWatch. And based on the status, like if we have completed the, if AWS completed the conversion process, trigger another Lambda function as like the job has been completed, then we can trigger the source packet again, maybe to delete the video or to move the video in a different tier. And also we can uh, send some notification to our um, administrator or the portal manager or for whoever needs to uh, know actually the convert process is done. So we can uh, trigger some SNS as well from the Lambda. So as you can see, this uh, media convert uh, converted the video and it will store the converted video into a destination bucket. And from the destination bucket, actually we will serve our video 
via the Amazon CloudFront. So basically, uh, this will be the straight line process. Like we will upload some video into S3 bucket. It will go to the convert process. And that process, it will store all the videos into a destination bucket. And from that destination bucket, it will serve to the end users via the CloudFront. We need to just remember this uh, diagram. Uh, to build the code actually to build our process actually how we can build the uh, services in AWS console. So we need to remember this uh, diagram. So anybody have any question? Uh, if anybody have any uh, questions or issue you can raise or ask me. Maybe in few minutes or in few seconds, we'll go to the AWS console and we'll uh, build something. So what we need to do to build this actually uh, so we are trying we are we are trying to build some pod platform uh, based on aws so we need some bucket as we have seen like uh, we need some source bucket we need a lambda functions we need to trigger this lambda functions uh, uh, from the s3 event event notification also we need a destination bucket and we need some IAM role definitely to convert this process to call from a service to another service. We need some Python code and we need a media convert job, which will be a JSON format. That's it. And then we will run the code and upload the video and test it. So I think uh, nobody have any question, right? So we understand very clearly. Yeah. 